Hello, my name is Bogdana Nyamtsu and this is module number 4 entitled Social Sustainability. This is going to be a course that is a little bit different from the previous ones because it's an applied course where we are trying based on the lecture offered by a scholar in the field to determine what causes well-being. During the previous course, we have explored the concepts of quality of life and well-being mostly from a theoretical perspective. We looked at definitions, evolution of the concepts, and contribution of several scientific fields to the development of quality of life studies and researches. This class consists of watching a movie available at the link on YouTube that's available on your PowerPoint slide. The movie presents the intervention of Sir Harry Burns at a local TEDx event in Glasgow in 2014. He addresses the question of how can meaning and purpose contribute to one's well-being. Sir Harry Burns explores the concept of salutogenesis and the impact it has on the most disadvantaged members of our community. He is the former Chief Medical Officer for Scotland, the Scottish Government's Principal Medical Advisor and Head of the Scottish Medical Civil Service. Sir Henry has dedicated his professional life to improving people's health and social well-being. In 1994, he became Director of Public Health for Greater Glasgow Health Board, a position he occupied until 2005. During this time, he continued research into the problems of social determinants of health and later in 1998 was lead clinician in Scotland for cancer research. His approach to determinants of well-being is groundbreaking. The main concept you have to keep in mind is that of salutogenesis, as I told you before. The movie lasts for approximately 16, 16 minutes. After you finish watching it, please consider the following question. What are the speaker's arguments for focusing on factors that support human health and well-being rather than on factors that cause disease? Explain the concept of salutogenesis and discuss the way in which the speaker connects certain social conditions and well-being in children. Do you agree? Offer some arguments for your position. Provide your own interpretation of the concept of individual resilience and discuss if we can have resilient communities, not just resilient individuals. Finally, what are the implications for decision makers and public policies of such an approach? What needs to be changed in order for people to enjoy greater well-being? 